As the sun beats down on Charlotte, many people are swimming to stay cool and lathering on the sunscreen before they head outside. But in just a few years, you may be able to take a sunscreen pill instead of using lotion. Meteorologist Katie Virtue spoke with a dermatologist to find out whether this new kind of sun protection could actually work. British researchers actually found the idea by looking underwater. Coral has its own natural barrier to UV radiation, and scientists want to take that chemical and develop a pill for people. I wanted to see if that's realistic for everyone out here in the next few years. Charlotte mom Heather Gaskins doesn't mess around when it comes to the summer sun. The skin cancer survivor uses both sunscreen and sun protective clothing to stay safe. Just having skin cancer before, I, you know, we'll take all the time we can to protect ourselves, and we don't stay out long. But Dr. Jurish Munavalli hopes new drugs will make sun protection even easier. The goal is to allow the body to block UV rays from the inside out. Right now, researchers are synthesizing new chemicals from coral for use in sunscreen pills. But they are still in development and at least five years away from consumers. Scientists are also testing an implant called Sines. It uses hormones to increase melanin, which help block UV rays. The implant is in drug trials right now, and it will not be available for at least two years. So these type of compounds could increase their melanin in their skin, hopefully. So that will probably come to market in the U.S. before anything else. So we'll keep our fingers crossed. Many people I spoke with want to stick with regular sunscreen. Side effects are the number one fear when it comes to taking a pill instead of using the lotion. It's something new and you'd have to use it or take it for a while to know if there's going to be any side effects. So that might not be as good an idea as I thought. Dr. Munavalli is eager to see the latest research. A lot of our drugs in nature come from plants and animals and bacteria, so it's a good start. There are already pills out there that are labeled sunscreen pills or tanning pills, but dermatologists say they are actually just dietary supplements and vitamins. They don't provide SPF protection, so you still need sunscreen when you head to the pool. In Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Katie Virtue, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.